match and what a way to end it. You with the winning trophy, but today's match didn't go your way. How do you uh, see today's match specifically? Well, just on today's game, I look well down to Nepal, first of all. I think they sh the, the resilience they've shown in all their run chases has been, you know, uh, very admired by ourselves. Uh, the confidence that they're starting to show in the way that they're chasing, obviously playing at home always helps in front of 12,000 people. I think it's uh, an amazing energy and a fantastic um, sort of environment created and it should be an environment where any player wants to play and it just energizes you. But um, look, they've been superb to get four wins out of four. Not many teams go and do that in a series. Um, they had two tough opponents in ourselves in Namibia. But look, so I'll, um, not, a, not the ideal way for us to finish the, 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 the tournament that didn't go according to plan. It looked like it was going according to plan at one stage and then that fantastic partnership that uh, Rohit and and Casey put together really sort of uh, took the game away from us. But look, I'm still very proud of the guys, the way we fought, the way, how disciplined we were for a prolonged period in the game uh, was, was very uh, good to see. But um, ultimately at the end, it wasn't enough. 2-1-3 wasn't enough on that wicket. And we, we know that one of our batters probably need to go through and get a big score like Rohit did. Uh, Nepal spoiled your farewell party, but how do you see your tenure with Scotland? Yeah, I was just looking at the trophy now and on, at the bottom there it says 2019 to 2023. You know, that's a long time and you throw you throw COVID in the middle of that and, and all the challenges we face going through that. And how fantastic is it to come out at the back end of that with a trophy, achieving our goals that we set, seeing a lot of the younger players come through the system um, is a wonderful achievement, not only for this group, but for the for the whole organization in itself. And look, I leave with very fond memories and uh, this is my last game with the team and I leave knowing that it's in a very good place for it to kick, kick forward. And whoever the coach is coming in, um, he, he's got a group of players here that, that can play a winning brand of cricket. Um, that, that, um, they're, a, they're a fantastic group of individuals and, um, and I'm really excited to see where the future goes. Um, for me personally, I've got to keep challenging myself as a coach, keep looking to get better every single day. And that's why I'm taking on a new challenge myself. So, um, but I leave with very fond memories and to have a trophy at the end of it is, is, is very nice. So you, st you said you, you had started this League 2 series uh, on a bitter note. The, the first series being very competitive and the last one it's in a very competitive note as well. How do you see the associate cricket growing in this period that you were with Scotland? Yeah, very tough. Associate cricket has given me an amazing view into a, a, a different type of cricket. Every game is cutthroat cricket. Every game for an associate team is a must-win game, you know, and that, and that brings different sort of pressures. It, it, it allows players to learn different attributes when you have to win a game of cricket in front of your home fans, when you've got a tour around all around the world and get used to conditions and acclimatise as quickly as you can and deal with jet lag and different climates. I remember there was a trip we went to Oman, we had to deal with 50 degree temperatures, you know. So for any player going on those sort of tours, for any coach going on those tours, it's a wonderful learning opportunity. And um, I really hope that um, the associate countries get more cricket, more opportunity to play because we've seen the sort of brand of cricket on offer here and I'm sure the rest of the world want to see more of that cricket. You played Nepal on different occasions in different scenarios. Uh, this past week has been amazing for Nepal. How do you see them going forward? Nepal's chances to make it to the World Cup qualifier and ultimately to the World Cup. Yeah, I mentioned in the beginning of the, the press conference that um, they're showing a lot of confidence. They, they, and, and I think confidence breeds success. Um, there's a lot more guys in the team starting to put performances together. is isn't just one individual the whole time. I think they've got a world-class bowler in Sandeep who, who showed his, his, you know, how how, how well he bowled and the wickets he took and the sort of pressure he can apply. But then there were various others around him that also showed that they can bowl with him in tandem. Um, and then from a batting point of view, uh, various individuals stood up at different times. You know, in the two games that we played them, um, there was a fantastic partnership at the end to win the game and today was two different characters doing it. So um, they're in a good place. Monty's come in and done a good job so far. He's created a good energy around the squad. Hopefully that can continue for Nepal cricket. Um, but all the associates are trying to get better. Everybody's trying to beat one another. So it's a good place to be. One last question that you can opt not to answer as well. So there was a moment uh, with a specific player in Nepal that you chose not to ha shake hands with. What's your stance uh, personally and as a Cricket Scotland representative? Yeah, as a governing body, we made a decision that we, you know, we, we don't stand for any sort of uh, discrimination or racism or anything like that. So we, we made a decision. Um, we, we communicated that decision with, with all parties involved. Um, it was accepted by all parties. Um, you know, and I think uh, 
as role models in society, we, we have to stand up and um, make some tough calls at times, but we stand by our calls and um, you know, we don't stand for any sort of discrimination. Thank you. Thank you.